Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mars Cena, it's Nick Cena here, and today, um, before this new video starts, um, I just want to say that this video, um, personally, um, okay, it's partially mine actually, but it mostly belongs to my friend Bowser Studios, and um, this video is where I talk about the Mario movie here, and yeah, and so before I do the review in the film, I just want to advise you guys there will be spoilers in this video. Where it's where I mentioned that there will be spoilers in the video, so I say if you don't want to be spoiled, just head on out and you can come see it when you've already seen the movie. So yeah, let's get to the video. Hello everybody, this is um, SMS's channel and I am Bowser Studios, you can go see me on my YouTube channel. Uh, just be just be warned that this video will contain spoilers about the movie so just be aware that um there'll be spoilers along the way and you know if, if you don't want spoilers then just don't watch the video but if you're fine with spoil spoilers then you could see you have been warned you have been warned it's now or never you have about another five four three two one <clears throat> how did you think of the like movie in general i just well i personally think it's great yeah i think it was amazing but um the spot the start bit with the um, all the f like, with uh, mario and luigi's family but just i didn't really feel i felt kind of like it's just kind of a sad moment for Mario and Luigi. They just made fun of Mario and Luigi. Yeah, over that plumbing commercial and how they destroyed someone's bathroom. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that also refers to the part something I saw in the film. Yeah, and we're introduced to this new Spike kind of ca character. Oh, yeah. Spike here, voiced by Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah, Charles Martinet as well. He was also... He was the guy that uh, was playing Pac-Man on the... Was it Pac-Man? Uh, no, it was Jumpman. Jumpman, yeah. He was the guy that was playing um, on the... Arcade thing, yeah. But yeah, but before that, it was kind of Bowser's scene where Bowser kind of like took down the penguin kind of area in Snow Kingdom. Which was, yep. you know, quite scary. You know, just, you know, like for maybe young children in the crowd, that might just be a bit scary for them because, you know, it's just something, you know, it's just a bit scary. Yep. And that just really shows how cruel Bowser can be. And, you know, I'm a Bowser fan. I like Bowser Studio. Well, I I like Bowser. I've even got the toy from the Mario figure. I've got the Mario movie Bowser figure. And even my name is Bowser Studios. I've liked Bowser ever since Mario... Uh, Mario Bros. Wii. And, you know, I, I wasn't much on Bowser at first. And then... After throughout the years, uh, probably like four, four or five years ago, I probably liked Bowser then. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it's just uh, back to the movie, of course. Um, a Bowser walking up the stairs was something new. Yeah, and then the question about it that shows the superstar. Yeah. But then he doesn't, you cut he doesn't say part. who's gonna stop me. He says something else. He says like No one's gonna Yeah, no one's gonna stop me. Which, you know what I think from that, I think some of the scenes from the trailers, the voice uh the voices are in different scenes. Yeah. Because okay, Bowser I think, yeah, Bowser, mm. 
So Bowser at first wanted to marry the princess, but then, like, not much, like, <laughs> not the Koopas and Goombas, like, weren't on to it because they were like, you guys have been enemies for a few years now. Like, yep. You know, how, how is this going to work out? And then Bowser's just sitting there in the corner. And then someone asks, what if she declines? And we will destroy the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, yeah. And that Bowser marrying Princess Peach reference to Super Mario Odyssey. That is. And they've even got the, the dress as well from Bowser. Yep. They even got the hat and stuff. Yeah. Which was really cool. Oh, yeah. It's a good and then, uh, to a lot of games, yeah. Yep. And then uh, let's get to the Mario Luigi's life. Like, I've seen, like, their, their bedroom. Bedroom? Yeah. What do you mean? By, like, the start or the end? Like, the start of the bed. Yeah. It's just... They've got, like, this is probably, like, long ago. If you think about it, this would probably be at the time, like, probably long time ago. Because they had games that my father had. They had games that my dad had. Mario was playing uh, the I... game that... The NES Kid Icarus. Yeah, they've played, yeah, Mario and Luigi were playing that. So, which makes me think, well, you know, it's just theory, you know, it's not... I'm just making, pulling out a theory that this could have been probably a decade or two decades ago or something. Oh, also the strangest thing I found in the film. Mm. Why doesn't Mario like mushrooms? That's true! Yeah, why does Mario not like mushrooms? But only Luigi does. I don't know. Well, I guess... I, guess like, I don't know. I guess Mario was used to it because throughout the movie... There was the scene with Donkey Kong and Mario using their power-ups, and Mario just like made it a full thing and like was like felt good about it or something. Yeah. Oh, right, and we'll back to the part where you see them watching the news, and then Pauline appears. Yeah, Pauline appears. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting Pauline to be there, but that would have been like now i just have questions for pauline because that would have been back in new donk city if that was the case because they're not in new donk city they're in brooklyn yes so i'm i'm not really entirely sure like maybe pauline could have moved moved over for a vacation or something but just you know like just or she probably had to get stationed there yeah i don't know but we don't yeah, know, but that's when they Mario, go through the pipe. Yeah, Mario and Luigi go through the pipe, and Mario... Like, it seemed like Mario just tried to keep Luigi calm. When they yeah. were, like, holding each other's hands and, like, they stick together. Mario just trying yeah. to make it seem like it's... Like, trying to make Luigi calm. Yeah. And then comes to where they founded a big labyrinth. Full of pipes. Yes. Yeah. But that was yeah. <clears throat> well, before that, before Mario and Luigi hold hands, it's like they go into an area where they fail to get across, and they fall all the way down to the kind of sewers area. Yep. And like Mario said, it looks like this place. Has it been dug up like for years or something? Yes, and when they were going down the stairs through those pipes, we just spotted a green pipe, and then he disappeared. Yeah. And then we get over to when they, you know, holding hands, stuff like Mario trying to keep Luigi calm because you know I would be really scared in that situation too, just flying in like a bunch of nothing. Anything could have happened right now. Yes, when Mario said, when Mario and Luigi were going, they got far apart, where Luigi entered into the dark realms. Yeah, with, um, with the Mario and Toad scene, it's just, you know, it's something new, like, it, well, yeah, you can clearly see from Mario's point of view, he is, like, really 
crapped up in the brain. Like he's got no idea what's going on, but the toad understands what's going on. He's just trying to, you know, he's trying to explain to. Well, he's not really trying to explain. He just wants Mario to see the princess. Oh yeah, and also guys, when Mario says, "Uh, Mario, you see the pair of bitty buds." Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then we go cut over to, like, when they're about to jump on the mushrooms to get, uh, well, well, yeah, the mushrooms to get kingdom. over to the castle. Before yes, they jump when they get on to it, the Luigi, kingdom. Mario said, no worries, Luigi, I th I'm coming for you or something. Yes, yes, and that's what he said. And then comes to um, a town that's in the Mushroom Kingdom. All you can hear is the Mario 3 Toad House theme. Yeah, it's just a lot of things were happening at the same time at that moment, but then... Then we cut over to Luigi and... Kind of at the Dry Bones area. Well, Lava Plains, but it looks like... Bowser was in the Penguin area. But Bowser yes. took it over and filled it up with lava. That's why I'm, predict I'm predicting that... Luigi ended up in... Should have ended up in... Like, Penguins. Was the Penguin? Yeah. Thing? But since the Penguins weren't there... And his Bowser taking over? That's why that happened. Mm -hmm. Because there is a whole castle that is nowhere close to looking like Bowser's castle and look like one of yeah. the ones that you would see like um in old Mario games. Yep. And the dark realms that Luigi landed into feels like a reference to World A in New Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. DS. Yeah. It's just something... Oh, yeah. Yep, go on. Sorry about that. And I also forgot to mention... You forgot to mention where Mario was still in the... Toad Town where they also showed us um, some powers that are from Mario 3. And they also showed us the uh, clear pipe from Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, clear pipe. And it was like... Uh, Mario was like... Oh, wow. Love these clear pipes. And then just... Gets ah! <laughs> and then gets sucked in to it. Yeah. Which, I'm guessing, like, if you were in the Mario world, you would have to control where you're going in the pipes. Which, yeah. you know, you would normally have to do that, because if there's two directions to go to, then you would have to pick one. You had to move your joystick to maybe the left, because the left might be the right way, or the right, because it'll give you, like, some coins or something. That, that did happen in Mario 3D world a few times. Yeah, and then... Um, so where they entered the castle, and when the Toad Council said that Bowser is coming. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, a really funny scene between the guards and the uh, Toad. Yes. Which, I, Peach... yeah, I really like it, yeah. Yeah, and when Peach says that they needed the Kong army. Yeah, that's what they went off to do. Well, that's what Peach went off to do, and... Then the toad asked her, "What, like, what are you? What are we gonna do?" Like, saying that they'll come out there and destroy our monster. But then you have the toad goes, "Oh, look at us! Yeah, that see, you know, I like that toad, and it's just kind of how it shows how cute toads can be. Well, <laughs> in what way am I trying to put that here? Toads are adorable. Yes. That could go either way. You know. And when it comes And when it comes to where Mario he was running away from the toads until when he saw Peach and then he had this glimpse of uh whatever that thing is called. Yeah, freaking gets <laughs> freaking like freaking gets like bull like <laughs> Blushed. He gets those by like like a load of guard toads. Yeah, and when Peach says she has, this is a human thing that he's short, but despite Peach being human herself. Yeah, human probably would have been lucky because humans are probably not in that universe. Yes, and when Oil asks Peach if he can come with her, and he said that we'll see about that. Yeah, and it's like, am I taking that as a yes? 
Yep. But no, it's uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. Um, and you know, Mario first few try, you know, Mario first few tries was really bad at it, but then the final attempt was so close. <laughs> Yeah, so I had close. So much high hopes for Mario. Yes, and when Luigi, who ran into a castle, was later captured and enslaved by the shy guys. Well, no, he wasn't really slave. Well, he wasn't really slave. He was just kind of like um, flied off off a um, kind of a balloon, kind of. Thing. Yeah. Yep, and this gave where Luigi just remembered, like, when he was a kid. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was a, that was a cute scene. And I wasn't, yeah. expe I wasn't expecting it, like, at all. I wasn't expecting one bit of Mario and Luigi babies showing up. But it's yeah. a good flashback, and I'm quite happy they did it. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's cut over to kind of where Bowser is playing the piano. And yeah, and singing, Peaches, 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 Peaches. No, that's my favorite part. That's got a really good ring to it. I really like that part. <laughs> and yeah, then came... And you can really catch Jack Black's voice with yeah, that. You can really catch it. Yeah. And, uh, yo, this is where we actually see a Bowser voice. A Bowser sound, like, not Jack Black, a full-on Bowser sound from in-games. Oh, yeah, the... Where it's like, um, there's a mustache human. And then it's like when he growls. Or would you say it's like kind of purr or something? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yes. Well, uh, yeah. When Mario and Peach were just getting on the journey, when Toad says, say, oh, hey, Mario, and then Peach asks Mario, saying, like, do I know him? And then Toad says, he's my best friend. Who are we, though? Yeah. You know, you just Mario. met, you know, like, you cannot just say you're best friends. You gotta, like, meet with each other for quite yeah. some time. Yeah. You, you don't yeah. just click. You don't just click. Oh, yeah. Yes, but then you have Mario and Peach and Toad traveling across. Where first up, Bob on Battlefield. Yeah, Bob on Battlefield, and it actually has the cannon from it as well. The Super Mario sixty four level. It comes to where they're crossing a boardwalk. Yes, that has which over. Yeah, when Cheap Cheeps catch the face of Mario, it's I only no, it's now. not a whole, it's not a whole thing. They cut it from the tri they cut it from the movie. Oh, yes. It's and not then like, comes oh, get to... it off, get it off, get it off. It's... Yes, and then comes to Toast Arena from Mario Odyssey. Yeah, or Sand Kingdom, whatever you want to call it. Which, yes. yeah, just adding stuff from games, it's just making it brilliant. And, you know, we don't see Mario in that much power-ups, really. Yep. And then comes to where they climbed up a mountain. Yeah. I think that was probably the most beautiful scene in that. Yes. That was probably the most beautiful scene, yeah. And then comes to Luigi being interrogated by Bowser. Yeah, and it was like... I'm not and sure if you know who I am, Luigi. <laughs> but there's a human. He has a mustache. Just like you. Um, I don't really remember how it went, but... Um, but like, yeah, Bowser kind of just says change. something about Peach, and then yeah. says something about Mario to Luigi, and it's like questioning Luigi. Yeah, and if Luigi doesn't say yes, all his mustache gets ripped off. Yeah, a little bit does, and then Mario, like Bowser, just rips off like a whole like kind of thing off it when he doesn't. Yeah. Do you know him? No! Hmm, tough one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, and then Bowser actually grabs Luigi by the legs and 
really goes serious on Luigi. Yes. And then he, you have now Luigi. Now you can kind of see how angry Bowser can get. Oh! And then comes to where Luigi was thrown into a cage above lava, but then you see the Luma leave by saying, Ooh, fresh meat for the grinder! I, no, I think that's when the donkey... I think that's when all the Donkey Kongs come in. Like, come in. I don't think yeah. it's in Lu that Luigi scene. Yeah. Put in the cage. Because I know for <laughs> sure he's, she said it to the Luigi... Or he... I don't know. He Luma did Lee. say it to the Donkey Kongs. I, I do know that. Yes. And then, I'm not sure if it was Luigi, you know. Yeah. And then comes to where... Mario, Peach, and Toad head off to the Kong Kingdom when they knock on the door. It showed us a white Kong, and then Toad says, What? And that's when uh, they did the he's got drip reference joke. Yeah, which that was like, that's a Kong that we haven't seen, and I'm predicting that it was Funky Kong. Uh, uh, I don't think it is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I think Funky Kong should have deserved more love in that scene, though, because Funky Kong, you know, he's he's a really, really good oh, character. Um, oh, yeah, I got it. Much, yeah. We don't get much then comes, then comes to where they were riding around a track, and that's when they landed to the palace of Cranky Kong, and then Peach asked, like, you know, if they could have his military personnel, but they said that no but she keeps pleading him until mario tells him like uh that you know he has to give him his military but what can they do if they want to get and cranky punk says that if he wants the military then you have to defeat his son which mario gets destroyed <laughs> destroyed by that when dk comes up and playing the dk rap when donkey Kong is before yeah, which that was a really good Easter egg. I th I think that's a quite a nice Easter egg they fit it in there. Or is yeah. it an Easter egg? I don't know. <laughs> yes, and then you see Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. Yeah, and Diddy Kong kept celebrating. That was yes. it. Diddy Kong kept celebrating. Yeah. Yeah, and then when it comes to Mario, I with Donkey Kong. Mario would be the first part, but it turns out. It was that blue mushroom that turns you tiny. Yeah. And then comes to where Mars is to fall off and he got a new power up which turns him into a furry. Yeah. And I liked how uh, kind of like he was about to get the fire power up and then Donkey Kong just like blew it away. Oh <laughs> like, yeah. He just kind of like blew <laughs> the fire power off it. it was, that was quite funny. Yeah, when it comes to the cat ability, Mario's able to defeat him. Yeah, it was really good agility from Mario, and, you know, that's what a cat can do, you know? Yeah, and when they finally receive the military personnel, they have to make their own carts. Yeah. It's a good kind of Mario Kart scene. Yep, where Peach got the sports bike, Mario got the standard car. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Toad was just going for a big part. One question I have, though. How did yeah. Peach change? I, I don't know. Like, how did that happen in just a matter of few seconds? I don't know. Just like, maybe, probably like in Mario Kart, because you know how when Peach rides a bike, he wears a different outfit? Yeah. Yeah, that. But, bro, then... Toad. Toad is freaking... Toad had the best car out of all of them. Yeah. And when they go, here we go. And then, uh, comes to where Bowser was having a discussion with, with Kamek and Toad when they're... Yeah, Bowser completely stuff. knew about what they were doing. Yeah, and the secret passage that Mario and they were heading off to was Rainbow Road. Yeah, and then Mario pulled off some real shit Oof. there. He pulled off some real. You know, he stomped on. He's he might his car might have got blown up, but he still but he managed to car. get in a car. Yeah. Oh my god, that sounds like a Grand Theft Auto joke. I know. Yeah, and then Rainbow Road gets destroyed, and that's when the Kong army got captured. 
Yeah, but Donkey Kong and Mario got captured, which I'm not sure. Mario saved Donkey Kong's life about two times, and Donkey Kong still hates him. But then when you fall, into, but when they fall into the water, you saw the bloopers and those eels. Oh yeah. Yes, and when uh, it turns out when when Mario and Donkey Kong had a fight, UK was just like smashing the insides of the eel. Yeah, but before that though, uh, maybe after, I can't remember because I'm so cocked up in the head. Anyway, um, Bowser asks Peach, no, 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 it's Peach, returns Peach, to the yeah, Kingdom Peach goes to the one. Mushroom Kingdom, freaking and warns everyone. drives on water, <laughs> drives yeah. on freaking water, and... Um, tells all the toads to evacuate. Then that's when Peach, well, no, that's when Bowser told Peach to marry her. Yeah, and like, if she doesn't, then Toad's gonna get killed. Yeah, they, you know, poor Toad, man. Poor Toad. He, he, yep. he was just standing there, man. Yeah, and then, uh, then comes to where. Mario and Donkey Kong, they were still inside the sun, and I heard you got five Donkey Kong started hitting the inside of an eel until they saw that his barrel rocket is still functioning. Yeah, really, yeah, I love that from Donkey Kong, and it's really yes. a big throwback from Donkey Kong Country. It's yeah. Very, yeah. And then it comes to where Mario and Donkey Kong headed to the Mushroom Kingdom. And then, it was uh, when Mario, uh, it's when Peach got on the dress and it's like um toad said something about i finally found it <laughs> yeah um, and then uh then you see our other kings like you see king bob and king boo yeah yeah yes and when peach refused to marry Bowser. they started, um, get, like, they started yeah. getting destroyed but then king bob starts getting lighted up which was Peach's idea. Peach kind of like lit like a kind of bow on fire and then just kind of like shot it out. Or ever what was it? Was it a spear? What what was it? No, it was where Bowser. He blew a flame at him, and that's when uh, Peach received the ice fire, which is from this is my brother's Wii. Oh yeah. Yeah, and when Mario and Donkey Kong were returned to the Mushroom Kingdom, it wasn't until when. They were about to destroy every enemy, and that's when Mario just got the Super Mushroom and Donkey Kong finally a firepower ability. Yeah, but before that, Donkey Kong saves Luigi. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong saves Luigi. Luigi was about to burn in fire and lava. Uh, well, that was after that. Oh, yeah, crap. Um. But yeah, freaking yeah. fire Donkey Kong was free. Okay, and then comes to where you have Mario who who later turned into another furry. Yeah, yeah. Sonic you. But he's got he's got a thicker tail, that's the difference. And he's Yeah, flying. and second off he can fly. Yeah, he can fly. Unlike the Tanukis in the like Mario 3, for example, you can only glide. Mm, yeah. And if you want to fly, you have to run until you see the P-meter, which is the fly. It's well, yeah, yeah, you can fly for a little bit, but it's not forever, though. Yeah, on the bar, you can fly forever. Yeah. Wasn't until when Donkey Kong starts to finally save the Kong members and even Luigi. Well, it was actually Mario who saved him. Yeah. Hey, nice raccoon suit. Really? Not at all. No. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, and then you see the you see the Koopas flying on the clown cart. Oh yeah, yeah. That was sick. Oh yeah, and then comes to where uh, Bowser just summoned the bonsai bill. Yeah, Bowser just bring in the bonsai bill. Yeah, and then Mario. Uh, he had to try to get his attention, which is by hitting in the eye. No, I saw what Bowser did. No, Bowser came out of the volcano. 
Yeah, but Mario did. He just hit the Bonsai Bill's eyes, and that's when they ended up on a wild take. Yeah, and then the scene that I'm really confused at, and just why they did not end up in a random universe, was when they smashed into it, when the like, freaking exploded it, and they ended up back in Brooklyn. Yes, so I guess they tried to, like, uh, reuse the same uh, thing from uh, the next time three live action movie where Bowser comes from Brooklyn. Yeah, and then Bowser starts beating the shit out of Mario. Yeah. <laughs> He's not That's messing gonna... around anymore. He's yeah, actually like, gonna you know. kill someone. Yeah, like, you know, when Mario tries to get the, the superstar. Yeah. Mario freaking, like, Mario made a mistake, man. Bowser just went all out on it. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention, uh, you remember that, like, in that one scene in the film where, uh, uh, you know, Peach has to the girls, and Mario tells them they have to the pets in Brooklyn. That's when Peach showed her a backstory. She's already from the human universe. Yeah, Peach's backstory. Peach's backstory is something different, you know? Well, not only do we get to see baby Peach. <laughs> Which is also in the movie, which I'm also surprised at. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then also, guys, that's when Mario, Luigi, finally got the ability. Yeah, finally got the ability and then showed them, showed Koopas and Bowser, his boss. And then, Mario and uh, Luigi's parents. It sure, like, came out of the window and it was like, they were so, um, like, they were shocked as hell. They were shocked as they had no idea what to do. Yeah. Yeah. And then comes to where they finally defeated Bowser and they turned tiny. Yeah, before this, though, before they got the power up, Luigi saved Mario's life. Yeah, that was my yeah. five. Also, yeah, also, Luigi saves Spike. Oh, yeah. He also saves Spike, yeah. Yeah, and then comes to the, when they finally did it, I was, uh, they put him tiny and they put him in a jar. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you if you actually stay around for a bit longer, yeah. if you stay around <laughs> for a bit longer after the credits, it's only a bit longer. It's only like a minute long, like a minute over. Uh, Bowser way, plays way. the piano again, but and then the Toad's, and then the Toad's telling us, "Shut the fuck up." Oh yeah, but before that actually happened, we see how Mario and Luigi's bedroom again. But however, they moved to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, and like yeah, now they just like moved in, and I'm surprised Brooklyn is actually letting it happen. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why Mario and Luigi are a pipe that takes them to Brooklyn. And, yeah, and they still clear out pipes, like, you know? Yep. And then comes to, uh, finally, the post-credits. Which Charles Martinet was in it, and we've talked about Charles Martinet at the start, that he was in the movie, and he was in, um, he was playing as one of the characters, that he was playing the character who was playing, um, the game on the arcade. Oh yeah, guys, but then comes to uh, after the credits, you gotta know or oh, maybe wait a minute. Before uh, we explain you what the ending of the credits is, this is a major spoiler. Major spoiler. Yes, and as we know in the end credits, we see a Yoshi egg. I didn't stick around for that long. I only saw the Bowser scene and that was it. Yeah. So you're telling me there's a second Mario movie? Yeah, there's a second Mario movie that might be Oh happening. my god, man. Ollie. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, um... Break me. I don't, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Like now, I'm just blown away. I I only sticked around for the Bowser kind of playing the piano when he was tiny, yeah. and I thought that was it. I thought that was a credit scene. That was it. Yeah. 
Yes, guys. So that's personally our review for the Mario movie. That is our review of the Mario movie. Bowser Studios and SMS. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you guys later. Goodbye. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.